I'm gonna cry. This is like one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my life. Good morning, it's our first day in Shelter Cove. I wanna show you what I did literally first thing when I got up this morning. I mean, what a view to wake up to. This is amazing, like we could literally hear the waves uh, last night while we were sleeping. We were lucky that it didn't rain our whole day here, but while we were waiting, we did a ton of stuff. First, we grabbed coffee at Fish Tank, which is literally the only coffee shop in town. And I took a yoga class at the Art Center. Usually, I believe the class is outdoors, but today we got to practice in this beautiful room surrounded by artwork. We also took a moody, rainy drive around found the cute general store, and although the views were beautiful now, just you wait until later. I'm so happy that it stopped raining. Like, yeah. I was kind of hoping it would, and it's like nice and gloomy out too, so we have like the mood of rain without the inconvenience. I can hear the seals. <laughs> I had no idea what to expect when I came to Shelter Cove. Up until this point, I hadn't seen the landscape at all because it was dark when we arrived and the views were hiding behind the rain all morning. But as soon as the clouds lifted, I was awestruck and I instantly fell in love once I saw the beach. <laughs> Is playing here because this beach is unlike anything I've ever seen before. It's so rugged and rocky and the sand is just totally different to the yellowish whitish beaches I'm used to in Southern California. I just can't get over how stunning the landscape is, even looking back on the footage later. It looks like the fog is kissing the waves and it's just beautiful, I have no words. God. I'm actually crying, like it's just so pretty. I guess the weather here is a bit of a prankster because as soon as I started tearing up, the sun hiding behind the clouds peeked out and winked at us. The mysterious gray water turned into a beautiful deep blue, reflecting the sky above. This change in atmosphere definitely deserved more music. came out, so did the locals, and I had so much fun getting to know them. People were really intrigued by my cello and stopped to chat as they passed by. At one point, a pickup overflowing with people drove by us and the teenagers inside begged to hear me play. I said I would try later, and to keep my promise, I played for them as we were leaving. They were so supportive and friendly. I'm honestly lucky to have met them. I also got stopped by an older man on a bicycle who asked, do you know this song and can I record you playing it? I quickly figured out the notes and I'm so glad I did because he had an amazing reason to get this recording. So as we were walking down the beach, we met this really nice man called Elliot who took a video of me playing his song request 
and he's actually sending it to his wife who is helping with Ukrainian refugees, which is just amazing. I'm so glad that I was able to make somebody smile, especially somebody who's doing important work like helping refugees. And now we are going to find something to eat because I'm starving. So we're gonna try some Venezuelan food because that's what Andy's feeling right now. So I'm gonna trust him. I'd never had Venezuelan food before, but oh my gosh, this restaurant, Mimochima, made me obsessed with the cuisine. And of course, the views were spectacular. The drinks were amazing as well, but the food really stole the show. I can't even describe how delicious it was. Every bite left us wanting more. That was literally one of the best meals I've ever had. It was so good. I highly, highly, highly recommend coming to this place, even if it's a splurge. We got out just in time for the sunset, so we're gonna try and find a spot to watch the rest of it. It's so beautiful. Definitely not scared of being around people. I don't want to get any closer even though I know I probably could just to like respect its distance and I don't want it to like run into the road. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen a deer that up close. After such an eventful day, we headed back to our hotel for some much needed rest. We have another full day here in Shelter Cove and that vlog will be coming super soon if it's not out already, so make sure you check it out. Thank you so much for coming along on this adventure with me. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe because it really helps us out. I'll see you in next week's video.